If you're gonna do a felony, <laughs> that is not an accident. Roll on up, Shreya. I have rolled. Hey friends, so yesterday we were talking about how insurance is for accidents. And today I wanted to tell you a little story about- Ooh, story time. Yeah, about somebody who was relying on their insurance and then unfortunately found out it wasn't gonna work out the way that they had hoped. So a lot of people may have heard erroneously that insurance is all you need. Yeah, a lot of people have heard that. To protect yourself, and it's not true. It is the first stop, but you need some additional planning, a plan B, a backup plan, and let me tell you why. How many of you have never driven over the speed limit? I'll wait. <laughs> Just kidding, we all do at some point, I imagine, unless you drive like 20 under all the time and you're crazy. Like and that person it... we saw on the freeway this morning driving like <laughs> 35 and a 60. Yeah, that was crazy. And I feel like unsafe. Isn't that like illegal as well? To drive too slow on the freeway? Yeah, you gotta go with the flow of traffic. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, this person was going with the flow of traffic. They were driving and unfortunately, due to an accident, he hit somebody and injured them. They survived, they are all right, but they got injured. You know, you got that insurance policy, that liability policy, you got your umbrella policy to cover anything above mm -hmm. that car policy if there's a, a large claim. And you might be thinking to yourself, I'm safe, I got all those things. I got all that insurance. Unfortunately, this gentleman learned that he was not safe. The reason being is that he was driving in a construction zone and where he lives, if you are driving above the speed limit or the posted speed limit in that work zone, if you cause an accident, it is actually a crime. Whoa. He was actually charged with a felony for causing this bodily harm while he was driving above the speed limit, you know, which is much lower than normal because of the construction zone. And I don't know how much actual construction was going on. Right. I always hate it when they leave the cones up and nobody's actually working. Mm -hmm. So there was an accident. It wasn't like this guy was drunk or driving crazy, but because he was going over the speed limit. In a construction zone and he got into an accident. He was charged with a felony and your insurance is not gonna cover you. From criminal stuff. From, from doing a felony. <laughs> Committing, that was the word I was looking for. If you're gonna do a felony. <laughs> That is not an accident. This is a good person. You know, it's it's like any other He's driver. He's probably just like rushing to get to work, going what? to see his kid's soccer game, normal stuff. And things didn't turn out as normal as he hoped. Yeah. So anyway, he learned a very painful lesson that insurance didn't cover his claim and the money for the settlement ended up coming out of his savings. It that was, is not what you want and hope that your savings are gonna be used for. You're putting that money away to save for something fun and exciting. Maybe your retirement, maybe that big trip, or a nice house. So keep that in mind. Insurance is for accidents. Did I say that right? Yeah, insurance is only for accidents. Yeah. And some things that you might consider an accident are actually crimes. Who'd have thought? So that is why it is important to have additional planning in place to protect your assets, your savings from our out of control US legal system. Thank you, Colin, for that wonderful story. Thank you for joining me for story time, Shreya. And you, viewer, if you enjoyed this, subscribe, hit that like button, questions and comments, leave them down below, and we'll see you next time.